Okay, so hand plane, okay? All a hand plane is used for is for smoothing, okay? So quite obviously here, we've got some pretty rough material, all right? Hand plane here, the way it works, this is the bed of the hand plane, all right? That runs along here and there's a blade that sticks out just here and it takes a very, very small piece off the top and it smooths it and flattens it out. So to do that, we need to have it set up appropriately. So on the plane, we've got two parts that we can adjust. We've got a screw here and a lever here. The lever changes the blade's angle within the plane. Okay, we tend to want it just to sit flat the whole way through. So when you look down the bed of the plane, you'll be able to see if a corner is sticking out more of that blade. You just pull the lever to adjust it. And the screw here, all right, one way's in, one way's out, obviously, that adjusts the depth that the blade sits at. So we want it to just stick out very, very slightly. So as you look down, okay, you can see it just sticking out. The thinner that um, cut, the, the smoother the finish, okay? If we're trying to take a lot off, you maybe want a little bit more sticking out at a time. And then to finish, make it a really nice, thin, smooth cut. So this is now set up properly. We're gonna stand off to the side here, okay? And quite simply, one hand on the back here, one hand on the knob at the front, okay? You're gonna hold it flat, but the angle that you wanna sit it at is slightly off at about 15 to 20 degrees. Okay, so instead of going straight on, because then it bounces the whole way along, if we go on a slight angle, it slices through the material. So as we go through, we just go like that and take a small amount off at a time. Okay, and then I'm not sure if you can see it there. This is already much smoother. Okay, that's only on two passes. Uh, if I do it again. Okay, that there, it's almost as if it's been sanded now. Okay. So this works by, um, it can either flatten or we can add an angle, okay? We can, we can add a chamfer or a bevel on the side like that, okay? The most important part is that whenever you do anything, you're consistent with your angles, okay? So if you're trying to make it flat, you don't wanna wobble as you go along because then you'll see a wobble. If you're trying to do a bevel on the side, Okay, you don't want to wobble because then you'll see the wobble. So consistent, work your way through it. Okay, it's all in the arms. Okay, you're not having to go like this. Okay, it's just straight through like that. Nice and easy as you go. When you finish, never put it straight down like that. Okay, there's a blade sticking out. All right, so if you just whack it on the table, you're either going to damage the blade or the table. So always lay it on its side. If you're done for the lesson, make sure it goes away. You'll see the others that are away. Follow the way that it's done so that you don't damage it. These things are very expensive.